Hi, my name is Jennifer Jones. I'm the co-founder of Angel Wings Memory Gowns. We started our organization in my dining room in June 2014 um, after my daughter was two months old. Um, after hearing a nurse at the hospital I delivered at um, talk about a baby, um, babies from their hospital that were too small for clothes at the store, um, they would hand the baby back to their mom in a wash rag. Um, I also had a friend whose daughter was born at 23 weeks gestation and lived for 15 months in the NIC unit. And even though there were clo clothing at the store that would fit her, it was just too hard for her to go and pick out the right outfit for her baby's burial. And so those two things um, pushed me to begin the organization. And we made the very first gown for LeConte. Um, and then it spiraled from there and we service over 25 hospitals now. My name is Rebecca Rose. I'm William Rose and we received a Angel Wings Memory Gown on August 15th, 2015. Maya was uh, had anencephaly and was given a 0% chance of survival. Good. And then we went for the anatomy uh, appointment and uh, found out that our son would not would not live outside my wife's womb and uh, we were broken knew that it was it, all in God's hands but we were broken because we didn't know why he would do do this we questioned we cursed we rebelled we came closer, did all that stuff over and over again, but we always knew that God had a plan for us, even when we were down and out. Uh, so we revealed it to our family, and of course they were really supportive, and our friends, and our church family. And we still prayed for a miracle. I asked God every night, I, or I told God, I said, no matter what, he is yours. Whatever you do, he is yours. So I prayed to put my hand on her stomach every night and watched and felt him kick and just couldn't understand why he was kicking and moving around, but yet he wouldn't live. So around the time that we are about to have Jeremiah, I was at work and uh, a coworker of mine told me about Angel Wings memory gowns. And I texted my wife Rebecca right then and there telling her to look it up and Rebecca was praying that day and just telling what you. I was uh, just sitting on the bed. I just knew today, that day just had to be the day that I had to go out and buy his burial outfit. I had put it off long enough, just had to do it. And uh, right in the middle of my prayers, uh, Will's call came through and told me that uh, I needed to go on Facebook. A coworker of his told us, uh, told him about Angel Wings memory gowns. They made burial gowns for babies, and so I immediately got on the phone, got on my phone, went onto Facebook, and uh, looked up Angel Wings and sent Jennifer a message, and just asking her what it was all about, how much a gown would be, what the logistics of everything was. Um, maybe. Not even 10 minutes later, I had a message back from Jennifer just kind of explaining that how the burial gowns were made, that they were at no cost to any of the families. Um, and we started making plans for her to make one for us. Um, at this point, I still had two to three weeks left of my pregnancy. So we had made plans just later on uh, coming up and picking up that memory gown. Um, but the Lord had 
bigger plans. Uh, not just a couple days later, I went into labor. I was being rushed to the hospital with high blood pressure and contractions. And uh, once we got to the hospital, the doctors immediately planned a emergency C-section. Uh, Jeremiah was coming that day. There was no stopping it. So I instantly messaged Jennifer and I said, you know, thank you so much for being willing to make something for Jeremiah, but I'll just have to figure something else out. He's coming today. And uh, we went on with everything. Uh, Jeremiah was born shortly after that. We um, had him with us for 51 minutes before he, he passed away in my arms. Once um, we said our goodbyes, had our time him, with him, had a little family time, just the three of us, my husband, I, and our son, um, the nurse came in with a box and said that someone left this for us at the front desk. Surprised, we opened it and found Jeremiah's memory gown. Jennifer had rushed all the way from Gatlinburg to the hospital in Knoxville just to make sure that we had that gown for Jeremiah. Uh, both of us just looked at each other, bursted into tears. It just meant so much to us that someone who at this point had never even met us was so concerned with our family and so concerned with our lives that they dropped everything they were doing and she rushed all the way, an hour away to come to help us. It took so much stress off of us. You know, I'm sitting there being prepped for surgery, I'm laying there in surgery trying to figure out now how am I supposed to get his burial blanket or his burial gown, how am I supposed to go shopping after this, you know, we're going to leave here without our baby and now I have to go shop for him. And with this burial gown, all that stress was taken away. When we left the hospital without Jeremiah, our next concern was just getting through the funeral, not everything that came with it. It just was such an answer to prayer for all of us. We will be having our gala fundraiser dinner and auction on November the 12th of this year. Um, we are having this fundraiser to support the ministry. Um, we need funding for our rent and utilities. Um, we're currently staying in an office space rent free, um, but it is for lease. So we do need to raise the funds to be able to pay for that space so we can stay here. And we want to thank you for considering um, sponsoring us and partnering with us to continue this ministry and showing the love of Christ to the grieving families who lose a baby.